Hello Capricorn. Welcome to your weekly love reading for December 14th through the 20th, 2020. This will be a general love reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody. <clears throat> um, take a look at your other planetary placements as well for additional insights and information. And also, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell because I upload a lot of videos every month. And you don't want to miss out on my free reading Wednesdays where I go live on here on YouTube <clears throat> and do free mini readings at 7 p.m. Eastern Time every Wednesday. Okay, so with that said, and if you like a personal reading, um, you can visit my website and choose a YouTube reading. Or you can email me if you would like a one-on-one -on -one <clears throat> live video chat reading privately okay so let's go ahead and get started and let's get into your reading here capricorn okay we have two of pentacles the emperor these are supposed to go this way this is the Knight of Cups. There's your energy, Capricorn, the Devil. We have the Queen of Wands. And we have the Three of Cups. Ten of Wands. The Moon. Page of Pentacles, the Hermit, Ten of Cups. Oh, this is looking really juicy here, Capricorn. And the Hierophant. Oh, wow. We have the Fool. We have the Page of Wands. Five of Swords. And the Magician. Wow, what are you manifesting, Capricorn? Whatever it is, you are, it's coming. The Nine of Wands here underneath the deck. Um, okay, what energies do we have here? We have Aries, we have Pisces and Cancer, um, <clears throat> we also have Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Libra, more Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Okay, and we have Taurus. Okay, now, those are just energies. Doesn't mean that your person's one of them signs. Very well could be. If they are, then they then you do need to pay a little bit of attention to this. But anyhow, let's dig in here. We have um, somebody here. We, ha we have you here. What you're doing is you're trying to juggle. You're trying to make some kind of decisions. You're mapping out a plan. You're setting your bound. You have set your boundaries. It's like you made a checklist of what you are want and what you don't want, okay? And you've been carrying this burden for quite some time, a burden that I th I feel as though um, that there was some kind of deception that had gone on and you've been carrying this around with you for so long and I feel like you're ready to drop it, you're ready to move forward here, you're ready to take a brand new path, a brand new start here and you are embracing it. You're kind of looking pa back to where you've come from and saying, nope, I'm not going to go back there. I do feel as though that there are some block. There's, there's, there's blocks being put up in your path. Back the path or the way back to the past is being blocked right now. And there is a reason for that because you are meant to move forward, meant to embrace a new path. And it is, uh, and you're being called to 
believe in yourself go on this new journey and enjoy this new journey here okay um i feel as though that you know the worst is over you've you've carried it around long enough and you're finally dropping this and you have this new vision here this um this new path that you're going down. You may even be presented with a new passionate offer. I think that you are heading in a new direction completely. You, and with the full energy underneath the Ten of Wands, you're dropping that stack of wands and you're leaving it there. You're not carrying the extra baggage with you into the future. Um, you're going in. It's like you are ready to dive in feet first, okay? Or head for whatever. Head first, whatever that saying is. But it feels like that you are definitely embracing a journey. You, This is a journey that you are looking forward to. Okay? And, and we also have here, we have this um, sense of, you know, with the Knight of Cups energy, this could be offers or invitations. This could be somebody asking you out on a date here. Um... But I feel like that there is a little bit of temptation, a little bit of self-doubt here. That, you know, it's like the devil sitting on one shoulder, angel sitting on the other shoulder. And it's like the devil trying to coax you in, pull you in in a certain direction. And I feel as though like with that two of pentacles, you are being torn between the past and the, and the future. Okay? And that devil might be sitting on your shoulders, putting some self-doubt in you, saying, well, you, you can't move forward. You know, there's still op the opportunity of the past is still going to be open to you, don't you? It, it's almost like somebody, <clears throat> I feel like there's this energy of somebody trying to hold on to you. And that energy is what has prevented you from moving forward. Okay. And you're definitely following your path. You, you, with the page of Pentacles, this is being practical and really taking a close look at things. You're being cautious as you move forward here. And I think that you've been spending a lot of time alone, a lot of time contemplating and thinking about this. You've been thinking about the past. You've been thinking about the future. You've been thinking about what it is that you really want. And I think part of this is, is about releasing an energy or somebody from your past in order for you to move forward. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so let's get some clarifiers for the past and present right now. But I feel like this is like a really big challenge for you. The challenge is trying to move past that negative energy of the past. What has held you back? Um, really taking the time to think and not rushing in. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles with the Two of Pentacles. It's like <clears throat> there's something that... You've invested a lot of time and energy and something and a lot of work into it. And it's like you're you're thinking, do I really want to give this up here? And you've been very, um, it may have, may have been keeping you up at night. It's been, the situation has caused a lot of anxiety. And I think that, that you are now reaching to a point of waking up from this and setting your boundaries and <clears throat> putting everything in order here. Proceeding slowly, you're dropping the you're dropping the heavy load <clears throat> and the responsibilities of the past. And you've been making some slow progress forward. It's been a long road, is what I'm being shown here. And we've got the moon card on the moon card. So there's there's definitely an element of illusion, an elef element of deception that you were involved in in the past. Okay. This could have been your person deceiving you, lying to you. Um you know, smoke and mirrors is what I'm hearing. Uh, I feel as though that they or somebody from your past <clears throat> was letting you see what they wanted you to see, even if it wasn't the full truth here. And we have the Three of Pentacles. This is celebrating a new group of friends or this is um, enjoying yourself, getting out and socializing. You're taking that chance. Some of you may even be taking a chance on social media or could be taking a chance on dating sites or something here, but you're getting, you're putting yourself out there. You're putting yourself amongst other people and you're taking that chance. You're taking that risk because you're ready to embrace a new path here. And we have the death card here. So this is, this new path is going to bring about a major transformation, a major change for you. 
I feel as though that something from the past is coming to an end as you embrace something from the future. Okay. Um, Page of Cups and the Ten of Wands. See in the here, coming into the future, the, the wands are dropped. No longer carrying that load. You may be tired, you may be weary, but you're getting a fresh a breath of fresh air here. Okay. Um, be prepared for a fight because I think somebody's going to become defensive, could really come at you strong and hard because of your decision to end things. Um, your decision to cut something off. Um, Eight of Swords with the Page of Pentacles. You're strategically planning on how you're going to get through this obstacle course. I feel like it's a tricky obstacle course. I feel as though that <clears throat> you're definitely trying to navigate your way through. But there's holes all over the place for you to get through this. I feel as though that you are overcoming an obstacle here. And you are, you've planned it. You've strategized it. This has been something that's been in the works for a while. And we have another nine here. with the, And we have the hermit. We have a lot of nines here. So what does that say? Look up the angel number 999 or just the number nine numerology wise. But nines are... <clears throat> nines are a progression. You're hitting a milestone. It's <clears throat> it's some sort of attainment. You, it's not the ultimate completion. However, you've attained something. You've reached some sort of goal. It might be a mini goal. And it's also how the uh, cumulative, how everything accumulative, all the events of the past, how they affect and manifest in the present time. Okay. So it's like somebody, I see somebody here picking flowers or somebody is, they're being on the defensive. They might still have a wall up right now. Somebody's very in very much in protective mode. Somebody's been injured in the past. Um, and I think and this person's alone. It's like, take us some time to enjoy yourself. Enjoy some things you love. Enjoy some beauty. Enjoying nature. And really having the time to contemplate and think things over here. Okay, coming up in the future here, we have um, the Queen of Wands. <clears throat> That's fire energy. That is um, being very enthusiastic, being very courageous, being um, very confident. So I think that you're going into a dating scene or dating sites or into, you know, meeting new people with confidence here. And as you meet these new people, you are, I think you are going to meet a soulmate connection here that is going to lead to some sort of, some level of higher commitment. Okay. And... <clears throat> You know, but as and this and with this magician card, this is something that you've manifested. You've been concentrating on. You've been wanting to find true love, and true love it is that you are going to find here. You've been manifesting this. Um, there is a little bit of a cost, and you know it. It's like um, you win the prize, but you have to sacrifice something. You have to let something go. Um, Capricorn, you probably know what that is, but it's like you win. But there's also some sense of loss. It's a win with a price tag. Okay. Okay, we have the four of wands. <clears throat> this is something you're very stable. You're about your stability. You're about building solid foundations. <clears throat> so you're very confident in your stability right now. You're not stagnant. You don't feel stuck. <clears throat> and five of wands with the Three of Cups, you're done dealing with competition. That's what I'm seeing also. Um, those two cards together are saying that you may have been dealing with competition in the past. And you're not dealing with that anymore. Because you're confident and you are above the competition. Okay. Uh, we have the Four of Pentacles with the Two of Cups. Again, we, bring, we get back to stability, physical stability, monetary stability. Uh, this is somebody that has been holding on to their heart holding on for um, for quite a long time, um, not letting anybody close to them, but now somebody's handing a pentacle out. I feel that might be your energy that you are ready to give your heart to somebody again. And we have, huh, this is the world card with the Hierophant. 
This is a new beginning for you. This is a new cycle. You're, you're closing the door to the past and you're embracing a new cycle, something brand new that is going to stand the test of time, something that is going to last. You are, you're going to feel like you're on top of the world. You are no longer drowning. Okay, and we have the um, judgment card with the five of swords. Um, two of pentacles. Back over here. You know, juggling two options. You might have been juggling. I think maybe one of those options was a reconciliation with the person of the past. Okay. This here saying that there is a sacrifice here. You probably have to. It's like a winning at a price. You're probably going to have to give up that. You've got to give up that person from the past. And, it, and it's going to take away any chance of reconciliation. But at this point in time, I think you're tired of the competition. I think you're tired of waiting for this person to come to their senses. And I think you are moving forward. Um, I think you, I think that you are not going to be resurrecting the past and you're moving forward with the new because I'm feeling like the new connection is a soulmate connection. Um, seven of one, seven of pentacles with the magician here. Yeah, this is something that you've manifested. You've planted the seeds and you've been working on it and working on it, nourishing it nourishing this idea and you kept on manifesting 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 now you're ready to pick your fruits so i do feel this is great energy here i think that you are about to enter into a brand new life here um yeah we have the empress the empress is very nurturing she gives birth to things that you know you finally hit you're finally hitting a landstone a landmark here you know you're you're moving away from the anxiety Okay, you're moving away from this anxiety with the Six of Swords. You're moving away from this energy. You're not going to worry about this that old situation anymore because you're giving birth to something new and something abundant. Um, a lot of love here. And yeah, there's a brand new start with the Ace of Pentacles, a golden opportunity. But here's the Two of Pentacles again. You're still, you're at, right now you're at that crossroads and you're juggling and you're trying to figure out what direction you're going to go. Um, if you're going to go back to the person... But as we saw in this other card, you know, there's obstacles going back to the past. Um, I think that, um, w yeah, with the Five of Swords, you know, I think that whatever option you choose, there is going to be an element of loss, um, either a missed opportunity of a new love, or you're going to have to let go of, of the past. Uh, and I think that somebody from your past may even come back to you and say, that they, when they realize that you are interested in somebody else, they may come back and realize, hey, you know, I want to work on this. I want to fix this. I still love you. And that's that devil on the shoulder saying, you know, they still love you. Why do you want to move on? You know, come on, just give it a little time. They're going to work things out. It kind of, kind of like drawing you in. And I think that is part of your obstacles. That is some, one of your challenges this week is not letting the devil sit on your shoulder and talk you into anything. Not letting the devil talk you into moving back to the past. You have to keep pushing forward. You've got to have that perseverance here. Okay. You have to have that willpower and strength to push forward. Okay. Let's see what we have with Romance Angels. Stay optimistic about your love life. Absolutely. Things are happening. Things are coming to you. Uh, something is blooming here. Finances and career. Um, I think that somebody is very sidetracked as far as their romantic life is concerned. Somebody may be totally into their career, into their job, whatever. They're burying their self in work so they don't have to deal with a love life or romantic life. But... The angels are saying you need to stay optimistic. Um, let your friends help. Um, you, I think that you could get some help from friend, outside friends to help you push things forward and having heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Okay, I think you are going to have heart worth waiting for. Okay. Wow. I think that this person that is coming in was well worth the wait. You took your time. You didn't get... I feel like you took your time. You took a lot of time by yourself to really think and plan out your future. And it, it, I feel like this is divine timing here. 
that the person that is coming in, the new love, is well, much, very, very much well worth waiting, waiting for. I think there's going to be a lot of heart-to-heart -heart conversations going on this week uh, with more than one person. I think you're going to tell somebody, I can't talk to you anymore. We can't be friends. You know, I, I'm seeing friendships here. I think that a friendship could be detrimental to this relationship. You may be cutting everything off, um, but you're moving past. But at the same time, to deal with this, your way of dealing with things when there comes to any kind of loss, which there is, you're gaining something, but yet you're letting something go. So that there is going to be the sense of sorrow, the sense of sadness and loss. And your way of doing that is you're going to dig yourself, you're going to bury yourself in your work here. But overall, the universe is saying, the angels are saying, you need to stay optimistic about your love life. You know, there's changes that's coming <clears throat> and there's something great heading your way. Okay, so let's see what else um, comes up here. We're going to get one of these heart oracle cards as soon as I grab one. Ah, I forget what other sign had this, but it's the tree. It's like the family tree. Okay, and it has a heart on it. I feel as though that this is a, it started as a seed and it's going to grow and stand the test of time here. <clears throat> um, this is manifesting. I've, we've been talking about this. This is what you've been manifesting. You've been manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Could not have said it better myself. So this is your reading, Capricorn. I hope you found this helpful and useful. And I love you all. Until next time, blessed be.